we just finished asking Jessica about all the people in that picture. Hey. Oh, good. We got all the info we need. We even learned about that weird lab. We still don't know why the villains are targeting Jessica. But there haven't been any suspicious criminals around. And now the butler's been arrested. Yeah, butler was arrested. I guess we could say the butler did it. Thanks, Jessica. We've learned a lot. <laughs> it took us a couple of hours. Really, this was something that could have been an email. <laughs> could have just emailed the picture to her and say, Hey, what's up with this photo? Not even an email. It could have just been a text message. Don't worry, Tim. You'll get the hang of it. Alright, so Jessica knows we're investigating. Yeah, that red circle was very suspicious. Oh, come on, guys. Tell her the truth. Warn her. There's a reason to think she's in danger. Uh, well, you know, I... I've solved all the local concerns, the many, many local concerns. Let's let's just wrap things up yes. here. I, I'm done with everything yes. I want to do here in town. This place. I'm sure of it. Hey, where are you going? Is everything all right, Tim? You two go on ahead. Weird. We'll catch up with you. Oh. Yep. No mistake in it. What's going on, Pikachu? I knew this was the place. I see. Yeah, this place has not changed at all. This is where I was helping Pancham. This is where I met Pikachu. I mean, Harry. Yeah, Pikachu, tell us more about you meeting Dad. Exactly in this spot. Oh, get some testimony. Guess we're going to make a deduction here. Yeah, does Pikachu not realize he's telling the story from his point of view and Harry's point of view at the same time? Pancham was injured by uh, that Berserk Pokemon. I checked the injury while Pikachu tried to scare me off. I left Pikachu to watch and then I got some medicine. Then I healed Pancham. Yeah, who got the medicine? Pikachu or Dad? Me, obviously. Hmm, but you can't talk to the shop owner. It must have been Dad who got the medicine. Also, we did play through that part, so we know for a fact that it was, it was Harry who got the medicine and not Pikachu. Let's figure out what's wrong with Pikachu's story. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. The, the problem is that Pikachu claims he got the medicine. Clearly what Dad did, not Pikachu. You do know Pikachu has been suffering from amnesia for a long time. This could be related to that. Uh-oh. Ground shaking. Whoa! Pikachu! Say, aren't you... I knew 
I recognized you. Hey, it's Pan Cham, and he's all grown up. And it was the Pangoro that we saw at the police station. Aww. Well, I don't blame Pangoro for not even. That was Rachel. It sounds like she's in trouble. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go save Rachel. And I don't, I don't, I don't blame Pangoro for wanting to move back to the forest instead of being in the city where he was, you know, detained unlawfully, framed for crime, framed for a crime he didn't commit. Yeah, I don't blame him for wanting to leave that bad scene. So let's go into the forest. We've got to save Rachel. Is this oh no! Rocks in the way! Let's investigate these rocks. Oh, jeez. Pokemon footprints. Mm -hmm. A big Pokemon. Is it the Berserk Pokemon from two years ago? I think these are human footprints. Can I not examine those human footprints? Hmm. Well, maybe I need to examine the footprints from this angle. So a human walked by, in addition to the two women. Anything else to examine, maybe? Oops, more footprints. Your Pikachu. If these rocks weren't in our way, our job here would be so much easier. If only there was some way to move them. Trying to look at the footprints, not Pikachu. If these rocks weren't in the Okay, way, all right, all right. Can't look at so those footprints. All I can do is look there at was Pikachu. Some way to move them. Let's see. Anything else we can examine here? Right? Well, up here. Hmm. Those rocks didn't roll down the hill. Perfect. Pokemon must have moved the rocks. Find a Pokemon or ask the people in town. Yeah, let's ask Pangoro. You're a big, strong guy. You owe us a favor. Hey, Pangoro. Hey, Pangoro. Do you mind if I ask you for a lift? <laughs> Thanks, bud. Yeah! Now we're unstoppable! Pangaro, let's go! <laughs> so Detective Pikachu gets to ride on top of another Pokemon! Oh, that's cool. It's like Darmanitan. Move a rock, huh? Should I get started? Yeah, yeah, let's start. Press the R button to push it. You can't pull boulders. Alright, let's see. I can't push this one anymore. I'm gonna have to push this one, which is the only one I can push. That one. That makes a pathway. Thanks. Wait, that's it? That's the entire puzzle? Thank you. Push the only block that you can touch? Mm, that's an easy puzzle. I can wander around. I wonder if there's anything else I could do with Pangoro. Any yeah, it's like he's got a little cape. I, I don't think there's a, any anything else that needs smashing. Though. It's a matter. Of, we have part two of a puzzle. Oh, I thought we were gonna have to push more blocks. Oh no! Hey, Tim. Broken bridge. Look, footprints. Rachel and Jessica's. 
They went across this bridge. Hmm. Alright, let's travel through the storage area. Excellent. I was wondering if we were going to go inside that storage area. Harry and Detective Pikachu hid inside here two years ago. Let's let's explore. Maybe we have some evidence, some really old evidence. Hey, Pikachu used to live here, Tim. Don't be so surprised. Mm -hmm. Hmm. This is like the third time in this video the game has given us that option. It's like, okay, are you finished with Jessica? All right. Do you want to do Pangoro's thing now? D do you want to go inside here? Yes, no? It's like, yes, I want to continue with the game. But asking me if I want to stop playing the game, because I'm i not going to say, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to quit. Yeah, do you think it's locked? There's one way to find out. Pikachu, you could probably fit through that small hole. Pikachu! Memory time? Awesome. Back to Detective Harry and Pikachu, who was not yet a detective at this time. Pika. Thank goodness. I'm glad you're okay. Pika, Pika. Ah! Hmm. Guess Laron's still looking for us. Hmm. Yeah, they made Laron go berserk. Yeah, you should be angry. Those guys will watch out. I'm gonna take those guys to the police. Eh, they probably got away already, though. Hmm. I chase them down. Okay, let's find a way out of here. Everybody locks their gates today. Hmm. What do we have inside? Wow, it's, it's really hard to see. Grief. I guess they store things here. Hmm. Oh, we can kind of see. Aha! A key. Hmm. Oh no, how can I reach? Bet you could use Pikachu to find it. Uh-uh, you know, maybe we need to zoom in on that area, examine it a bit more. Oh, here we go. Mm. Nice big hole. Definitely. I, I I mean, it makes sense. He's going to need Pikachu to fit through that tiny hole. You get the key, Pikachu. Well, it doesn't understand everything. Uh, better explain. Step by step, Pikachu goes through the gates. Hmm. Well, I'll point at the gap. Okay. Pikachu is being so incredibly cute. I love it. Okay, uh, next, let's point out the key. Okay. Good job, okay. Pikachu. And now I can investigate here. You did it. Pika. 
Is there anything else in this area? Oh no. Oh wow. It is just that hmm. gate. Okay. That makes it easy to investigate here. Alrighty, what do these bad guys have here? Ooh, it looks like a Pokemon. So let's explore from right to left. Let's see. Canisters. Wow, there is nothing we can examine here. Nothing. Wow. Well, that makes investigation a lot easier. Let's talk to this Pokemon. Rhett. Whoa, what are these? Yeah, 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 they look scary. I think they're blocking the way, so I can't run forward. Yep, definitely blocking the way. Another locked door. And another wall. Let's see what's on the side of this door. Oh no, this one needs a different key. Oh, it's got Graveler. Graveler guard. Maybe not a guard, it's just taking a nap. Graveler, wake up, buddy! How can you wake it up? Maybe you should kick it. Well, that would be mean. Let's see if there's anything here. I mean, like send Pikachu, maybe. Hmm. Berries. Yeah, we've got berries that wake up Pokemon. Hmm. Well, that's useful. Electric berries. Hmm. Poke block. What's a poke block? All right. Just typing something here. Here we go. There we go. Here's our hmm. examine. That's just the gate. Never mind. And we've got another hole okay. that Pikachu can fit through. No, we're not finished investigating here. Let's look at Grappler. Mm. Okay. Well, this seems like a simple mm. enough puzzle. Let's have Pikachu get the berry for us. So we want the awakening berry, okay. obviously. That that that's so obvious. Okay. Hmm. Wakes up that big guy. Excellent. Another puzzle solved. Now we can investigate okay. further. And thanks to you too, Pikachu. You're you're a big help. You're a great partner. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Pikachu. Ah, this is definitely how Pikachu and, and, and Harry became friends. That's how they became Pokemon partners. Aww. Oh, I know. You're hungry, aren't you? Aww. Well, I guess he didn't quite understand Pikachu yet.